Okay, well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm not going to say they or the or it. Just keep it simple as it is. Um, be he male, be he female. The world is becoming so politically incorrect. I wouldn't say correct. I'll say politically incorrect. Uh, just want to wish you a hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Um, I had a fantastic Christmas. Um, being a first generation, um, being a first Jamaican, first generation Jamaican in the UK, um, one is not so privileged, I would say, to have uh, lots of family members around or immediate family. So the, the the immediate family that you have is your wife and your children, and I love that, you know. I remember when I came in 1992 to this country, one of the things I used to do on a Christmas day um, was go and spend time with my mother's brother, my uncle, who was, who was in the UK. He went back to Jamaica and he, yeah, he passed away, God bless his soul. And I remember splitting between Christmas day and New Year also with my other families, uh, my cousin who brought me up from the UK. But after a while, I found that it was very interesting to just uh, stay home and stay by myself. After a while, I just really love Christmas by myself. But lo and behold, went back to Jamaica, got married, brought Shelly Ann over from Jamaica and came to the UK, uh, brought it to the UK. And, uh, and now my Christmas now is really just spending time with my immediate family, my wife and children. I love that. I love just to relax, sleep and just sleep and sleep as long as they're okay everything is fine with me so but i i wanted to come on today because i've, I've got a lot of programs which i'm actually planning for my next season of my shows my online shows the the talk the talk show the the, the studio the silver and the red chair and it's just so exciting um but unfortunately one has to wait until next year a lot because everybody's is like life is on hold till next year and i always find it interesting when when life is on hold till next year 2020 2019 2018 2016 i find the same principle where life is on hold because one is waiting for the new year and when i think about the new year i think to myself is the new year a new year or is it an opportunity for procrastination right and hear me out now I'm not gonna rain I'm not raining on anyone's thunder you know but is it an opportunity for procrastination hear me out hear me out and then I've always said for the past few years that the most that I do really is to um, say this this is what i'm also say is take it to the next level whatever i'm doing take it to the next level and i think it's from 2014 or so i started to not make a resolution and just say taking it to the next level because i find the principle of taking it to the next level as something which is very powerful because what it is saying is that you have somewhat reached to a point in your life where you i would say that you know where you're going I don't know if anyone can say that you know where you're going you, you, you have your agenda you know your, your, your life plan is sort of map out not that you've reached but it's somewhat mapped out and you sort of know where you're going so everything is taking it to the next level but I find something very exciting which made me start to think when it comes about newness and if you notice I titled the, the talk today I, I titled it as the concept called new it evokes passion energy brightness life gives a spark the newness and one cannot discount something which is new ladies and gentlemen right if you agree with me one cannot discount something which is new because new sparkles new is light new is bright new evoke passion boy meet girl butterflies everything it's new well girl meet boys well well even these days girl meet girls good boy meet boys <laughs> political incorrect as I'm saying um, you know it evokes thing and and I've been you know I'm an ardent social media um, you know um, fan I, I love social media 
uh, many people find social media sometimes it, it takes up a lot of their life but I tend to use social media as a fundamental tool that I even I even created a, a few little um, pointers about social media which which I'll drop in later whereby you do not need to explain why you post what you post you do not need to explain what you post <laughs> you know what I mean you determine what you post when you post and not others you use social media as a tool, right? So we're talking about this newness, and and uh, I, I see so many passions, so many drive, even myself getting excited about 2020, because I believe there's something very uh, poignant about 2020, right? Not 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 as before, you know. It is it is something whereby. It is stepping into a next level. It's stepping into a next zone. It is like stepping into some new waters. Now, I will bring Brexit in, okay? To the detriment of someone who hates Brexit factor. But I bring Brexit in because one of the concepts that I find about Brexit is whereby the, the UK is leaving... Ladies and gentlemen, this is not about Brexit, not a political discussion if you just join it, okay? I'm just using, using an example here. With Brexit, it is about leaving the European Union, leaving the so-called comfort zone, leaving the so-called stability, leaving somewhat what you can see down the road as being safe, secure. And therefore, by virtue of such, you don't want to rock that boat. Nah, nobody likes to rock that boat sometime when they're in a safe, secure, in the comfort of the shores. The comfort of the shores is whereby if those who are swimmers and, and want to go and swim, you like to test the waters. You like to go into the deep. But there are others who are not swimmers and just want to stay in the safety of the shores in a physical sense. But in a figurative sense, now, it applies also to mankind. Applies also to mankind where people fear treading into unknown territories. Fear going into the forest. Fear going into the deep. Deep, call it onto deep, right? So the, uh, with the, so with the Brexit factor now, it's by we are leaving the European Union. We are going on our own. We shall do it, you know. We shall take over. We shall conquer. That is some of the mindset, you know. It is stepping into uncharted waters uncharted territories and there's always this concept when you got uncharted waters uncharted territories then you also have uncharted devils because you're going into different levels and then therefore depending on your attitude it will also will determine your altitude as well not these terms what i'm saying it's powerful because I, I, i've been getting in some some deep introspective period over this holiday period, just relaxing, taking away from the quiet, cut down on a few of the broadcasts and um, not being into court, not, not paperwork and just chilling the mind. Sometimes the mind needs to be chill and just to be focused and zeroing, you know? And by virtue of such, you start to conjure up and you start to realize and you, you say to yourself, why is there so many negativity in the world? Why there's strife? Why there's jealousy? Why there's envy? When it comes on to a period leading on to 2020, everybody's excited about this new level. They're excited about 2020 because they are going into a new zone, into a new territory. It is like it's an unknown. It is an unknown. It is an unknown because you're going somewhere where you've never been before. 2020, it's like you're rising and you're climbing into 2020. So by the time you know region 2020, you arrive, you say, right, these are the things that I want to do. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, up to Z. Never done before. Right? And that is why one of the things that um, when one think about like new leaders, you always find it strange. You'll have a, a party, yeah, in power. It happens all the while. PNP, JLP, conservative, labor. Um, I, I use that because I'm more affiliated with Jamaica and, and, uh, as my hometown, as my home country and, and um, the UK, which is my adopted country. One would say um, when new leaders come up, when you have um, uh, Boris Johnson, Rory Stewart, Sajid Javid, 
and all of those guys come for they're all bringing up ideas new things which hang on a second why were you hiding these things from labor party new leaders leadership challenge new things in jamaica uh peter bunting peter phillips um andrew Hornis, whatever new leaders jockeying for new position to take over the leadership and they have all these ideas all these newness all these freshness you say hang on a second why were they not sharing these before why is it hidden the penny dropped and the penny dropped and it is simple this you may not be a bible believing person or you may be a bible believing person you may believe in god you may not believe in god but the one thing that the Bible talks about, the Bible talks about that the, the rain fall on the just and the unjust. The just and the unjust. The just is by faith you are saved. By faith you become just. Not by your works or anything, but by the faith of Christ, faith of God. If you believe, right? And therefore, but at the same time, say the rain fall on the just and the unjust. Mean to say blessings come on the righteous and the unrighteous blessings the principle there are some key principles which applies in life there are some key principles which never change they talk about seed time harvest time what you sow you reap it's a karma mentality whether you believe in karma or not it's the same principle what you sow you reap if you reap if you sow good you're gonna get back good by by before and it's a simple principle if you're good to people and you're always doing good things you're sharing people you're blessing them you're giving them. that's why i mentioned something if you can do help someone Help them. If you can do good, do good. Guess what will happen? You'll be driving down the road or something happens. Guess what? The person will be more likely want to do good to you because you're being good to them. Right? In the event, if you're a bad person and you're doing bad to people and you're really, really dealing and you're cutting short, you're cutting corners and you're fraudulent, then guess what? You're opening up a can of worm where bad will follow you. It's a principle you're sowing to evil so therefore you're gonna get bad things come as well right and i always think of this sometimes when you're driving and then there are persons who are drivers think about this it's always good sometime when you give someone a blight or you let them go out or you 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 let them go or you you be courteous because chances are you'll always see the, uh, another person who is um that you maybe saw before they're more prone likely to help you okay i said to my son the other day we're driving and um there was a i was trying to get out and the the first vehicle didn't let out and the second vehicle let out and i said to my son now there's a gentleman understanding when with mercedes mercedes benz drivers what they tend to do they tend to look out for each other. I've seen that. And I, I, I tend to look out for Mercedes-Benz drivers. And there's a courteous um, manner. This is what I pick up. And we flash each other. There's a gentleman understanding with Mercedes-Benz drivers. You know? So that, I share that to my son. You know what I mean? But it, it, is, it is a principle. See time harvest time. Good sold, good reward. So I'm saying, why? Why can't this newness be there every day? Every every can there be a 2020 can there be a 2020 each time every week there'll be a 2020 why can't there be a newness why can't every day there be something new whereby it generates and it brings out the blessings and good virtues of society right i i put this i put this post up there when i when i said um yeah i i put this i put this post up today and the post is if someone needs help, give it to them. Right? If someone needs help, give it to them. Right? That, that is like a, a topic all by itself, which I'll have to do. You know? But I'm just watching that topic and watching comments on that topic. People take it in different ways. If someone needs help, give it to them. And it was from a show I was watching. The show is 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 whereby this young boy um, he had a hard time. His mother took him away from his father, and they had issues. And um, he, he became he, he working with uh, uh, he was working with with um, a cafeteria at the age of eleven. And at age of eleven, while he was working with that cafeteria, um, they were treating him bad. Um, 
uh, what is if that new new name, name means exactly I'll come to that new um, they were treating him bad then he went and saw another cafeteria and the guy said let me help you let me take care of you the guy one time saw him eating food out around the back whereby after customers finished and the gentleman said to him um, you don't need to do that from today on you will always eat food in my cafeteria you'll always be I'll take care of you right his mother went away left him the guy took care of him and the guy said to him if you can help someone help them if you can help someone help them the operative word is if you can right I don't know maybe if I put it right but what I said if someone needs help give it to them but really and truly said, if you can help someone help them right cut a long story short that gentleman is the one that created the the I wish where when, when someone is, is gonna die and they want to leave a wish um, or they have a, a request before they pass away that is what happens and he, he created that foundation he was a police officer and how it happened was whereby there was a little boy who had one week to live and he wanted to be a police officer like the bike the the the, the mount the, the police officer that ride the bike and the the police officer who also died i believe he said he died for 30 seconds or 30 minutes or whatever like that um and then he came back to life and he believed that his life was resurrected or came back to life to help someone and then he said to the boy i want to help you and the boy said no i don't want help i don't want pity and the the the, the boy said to him he said to the boy maybe you are here to help me right and therefore the whole concept came back if you can help someone help them and therefore that's where the whole drive came from whereby people make their wish for 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 last minute when when they're gonna die they're gonna week to die they got a month to die they want to maybe go to disneyland they want to go to somewhere they want to play a bouncy castle things that they have some last wishes and that's what he created if you can help someone help them now i'm saying that in a sense because we're stepping into 2020 and going into 2020 we have a decision as to how we determine the outcome and the end result of 2020 and beyond you say but well, why is it why should i be doing that i mean the society the politics the racism and all of those things will create um enmity towards good things or what i want to do that may prevent me from doing so but i say no 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 because I look at something today and I, I, I started to pull something together and I'm going to come this up and, and this is this is something I, I conjured up and it may sound a bit strange but how do you bulletproof your life against racism <laughs> right that is something I'm going to talk about it's going to be a powerful topic where I'm going to how do you bulletproof your life against racism make it impregnable indomitable insuperable Insurmountable, invincible, invulnerable, unbeatable, unconquerable, unstoppable, right? Untouchable. How do you bulletproof your life? You know, you see, I sometimes I like these 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 Avengers, Infinity and and Endgame, or what all of those things are showing all over again over the holiday period. And my son loves it, and my daughter loves it, and we end up watching it all over again. I say, oh, are we going to watch this all over again? But there's this thing about Shield. Everybody with shield, you know? Everybody have a shield. Hog shield was his strength, you know? Thor shield, Thor shield was his thing in there the, 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 when, he, when he hits out and that's his shield. Doctor Strange was, his, you know? Everybody have a shield. Captain Marvel, the strength. Everyone, Fury, I guess Fury, Fury shield was all of the Avengers all around them, <laughs> you know? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I, I, I'm just simply saying that life do not have to be that bad if each person take an opportunity to make themselves good if each person take the opportunity with the zest for life in 2020 for the new james singles what does it new means what does new means new means as i said fresh burst of spring that's new winter is not demons uh, it's funny winter is not demons new isn't it Winter is deemed as dreary, but it is new still in a way because what it is doing is bringing the snow, is bringing the, the cold, is bringing a new temperature. So it is new in a way. 
right? So therefore, but normally we see new as bright, light, evoking passion, energy, zest, going forward. And, and, I'm, and we are seeing all of that. If you look on the post, people are, people are talking about cutting off that person, cutting off that, nah, you know? And, and I don't think one need to broadcast those things, but anyhow, if people want to broadcast who they cut off, I just cut off people whether it is a new year or not. Because I believe it's very important that you guard your space. That's what we call shield. And we've got to do another talk on what is shield for your life. Because you got to put a shield. Years ago in Jamaica, people say, sticks and stones can't hurt my bones, but words. Sticks and stones can hurt my bones, but words can never harm me. But we all come to the realization now that words are more powerful than sticks and stones. Right? Because we are immersed into world we're immersed into the media we're immersed into people saying um um 90 percent of people will die uh 50 percent of that is gonna have cancer and they're speaking these things speaking these things a lot people say oh there's gonna be a lot of flu epidemic people say i'm catching the flu i'm catching the... i'm saying why are you catching the flu why are you catching the flu words that we speak goes in and becomes a reality manifest itself words words are powerful right so therefore so i'm looking at it and i'm saying things don't have to be that way right things don't have to be that way things can always be positive and use that as your your shield all right james singleton by loving all of man suffers to understand that racism as with all is a problem that the prejudice suffer with what does the new mean? In what way? Ah, in what way you bulletproof? James Singleton, hold that point. I'm not going to touch that now. I'm, do, I'm pulling that together. That's going to be a topic all by itself. Bulletproof in your life in 2020 against racism. Bulletproof your life against racism. Right? That doesn't mean to say you will stop racism. That doesn't mean to say racism is going to go. But it is how do you bulletproof? How do you become impregnable? How come you become, um, you know, rocky? How do you have those shields around you? Watch your space. Watch your space. I'm going to come and I'm, I'm going to deliver that. I mean, coming up um, in, in, in next year, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking at things like, um, you know, going where you have not gone before. Right? In politics, I have some points about your choice will determine your territory in your political walk. Don't be apologetic of your political choice. Be unapologetic. In social media, I mentioned a while ago, post what you want to post as long as it complies with social media platform community rules. You do not need to explain why you post. Right? You do not need to explain what you post. You determine when you post, not others. You take control. I'll go further. In fate, I'm even going to touch on fate. Fate is one of the most potent forces. Fate can make a nation. Fate can destroy a nation. Be not transformed, but be conformed. Or be not conformed, but be transformed. There's powerful things. And I'm, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give seven key points on each one of these leading up to the new year. In your career as well. Right? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? What determine? Is it what you love that you must do, we earn from? Or sometimes do you have to do what you don't love and what you earn from in order to attain what you love and what you really, really want to do? Different steps. Race. Your race is not is that the be all and the end all. Your race is a part of you, but not the end of you. And I still bring it back again. Be not conformed, but be transformed. Are you going to be conforming just because of your color of your skin? Are you going to conform based on the your 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 background? Is it at the end all? Listen, guys, I tell you, there's so much, so much, so much exciting. And I'm excited. I'm excited for 2020. You know, I could start this tomorrow because I don't believe in waiting for 2020 to speak on certain things. But guess what? Because the majority of persons are waiting on 2020 to get things going. Well, I'll follow suit with that time. I'll follow. Normally I say don't go with the flow. Right? Or it should be in someone else's stream. But instead, one should 
create their own rivers. So I'm just setting the stage, right? I'm just setting the stage for what's gonna be a very exciting year. I'm setting the stage to keep on being the voice, an unapologetic voice against the odds. Be ye not conform, but you transform. And I'll leave you with this last thing. On the 23rd of March, myself and the family, we were in the Catford Island around four o'clock or so, leaving out there. And the traffic was packed. Traffic was so packed. Traffic wasn't moving. Everything was at a standstill. Nothing. We can see on the road, vehicles halfway in the road trying to get in. Traffic lights keep going green and red. Vehicles halfway, not moving. Vehicles coming in, turning back around, creating a, a second traffic jam at the roundabout within the shopping complex. I looked and I said, this is wrong. But then I saw something else. I saw where all the gaps were. I saw where the blockage was. I saw what could unblock the process and get things moving. I saw it and I watched and I watched. I saw it and I watched and I saw it and I watched. And I said to my wife, somebody need to fix that. You need a police officer or somebody to do that. Who should it be? <laughs> my wife challenged me and said, maybe you should do it. I said to myself, what do you think? Yeah, so I just, I came out of the car, came out of the car and then said, okay, person, you go there, you go there, uh, you go around there, you move up there. And it was exciting. I, I just saw things moving and I said, you come there. And he said, you stop, just go down, go down there, go, 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 move, move, move. And I saw the traffic started to move. I started to move, started to move. And it started to move. And lo and behold, but it took one man, took one person with the eyes of seeking a solution to unblock the process and to get the traffic going. So my message in this moment is that one. You'll have eyes. God will give you eyes. God will give you vision to see all the blockages in your life in 2019. See all the blockages and, and what you've got to do. You've got to decide to unpick it. Because really and truly, if you take a step back and you look forward, you are able and you will be able to unblock the process in other people's lives. You unblock the process in your life. You don't block the process in your work life, but you got to have the eyes of vision. You got to know who you are, right? I know who I am. That's why I could have stood there as not a police officer, but as a community person, as a person. And people were just saying, yes, as some Jamaican people were saying, yes, father, yes, yes. And you go there, so you got, you know, people were starting to chip in and saying, yes, you go there and move there and blah, blah, blah. So you see, guys, life is not that difficult. Trust me. Life is not that difficult. Believe you me. Because everyone has this gift that God has given them. Everyone has this ability that God has given them. And is for us to use it. And, 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 and to go forward with it. Right? And be blessed. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a start. I'll give you a taste of next year. You know, the, the, the Silburn show with a new studio. It's going to be off the wall, off the chain with my team. My Facebook Live, these ones going to be crazy, off the chain, off, off. It's going to be crazy, you know. I want everybody to come on board. You know, we're going to deal with Brexit. We're going to talk about the positive things of Brexit. We're going to get the government moving. We're going to, listen, I'm not into doom and gloom. We want the Labour Party to have a good leader. As a conservative, I don't mind Corbyn stay there. So conservative stay in power for the rest of their life. <laughs> you know, another thing I want to touch on too as well is the honor rolls. The honor rolls that the Queen does. I think it's a great thing. But I think maybe the discussion needs to be had about should they keep the word empire? Because everybody seems to like the honors, you know what I mean? I think it's a good thing. It's nice when you're recognized. But people have this issue with the empire. So maybe the Queen and the country need to look at the word empire. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that and please share this video. 
because I want to be inspirational, motivational, encouraging, empowering, edifying, exhorting, and comfort to someone because we can do it in 2020. And don't wait for 2020. You start tomorrow, okay? And be happy as, as uh, <laughs> my glasses, as uh, John Silver said, just be happy. Yes. Are you at, are you at Don City? Where is Don City? Uh, Don City. I don't know where that is, you know? So, so peace out, guys. And, um, and all the best. And those on Instagram as well, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, yeah, keep it simple. Peace out. Bye-bye.